Bellator 165, Chandler vs Henderson is the second and final Bellator card of the year in San Jose and a championship bout from the lightweight division headlines. Champion Michael Chandler will take on former UFC and WEC champion Benson Henderson, who has already fought for a title in Bellator, but he lost to welterweight champ Andrew Kurashkov. In the co-main event, welterweights Michael Page and Fernando Gonzalez step in for a grudge match. Bellator 165 Chandler vs Henderson is coming up Saturday, November 19th at 9 p.m. main card at the SAP Center in San Jose, California, and you can watch the preliminaries on Spike.com and the main card on Spike TV. For the lightweight main card, Chandler, who's 15-3, has won three in a row and won the belt after it was vacated by Will Brooks, who left for the UFC and beat Chandler twice. He scored a KO win over Patrick Fury in June, while Henderson, who's 24-6, beat Fury's young brother and former featherweight champ Patricio, who broke his shin as Henderson checked the leg kick. Henderson's strength is wrestling, but Chandler was an All-American wrestler. He just has to watch out for Henderson's submission game. He has the edge in striking, so take Chandler to retain the title. Our pick for this fight is Chandler. For the welterweight bout, Page, who is 11-0, is an English kickboxing beast that has won 10 of 11 fights via stoppage, 7 via TKO KO, and 3 via submission. Gonzalez, who is 25-13, is a former Muay Thai champion who has won 5 in a row and also has 7 submission wins to his name. This fight has been cancelled twice in the past and the two have lobbed insults at each other since then. This should be a barn burner, but take Page to score a spectacular win. Our pick for this fight is Page. For the light heavyweight bout, England's Basil, who is 16-5 and won a contest, has split his last two fights, including getting his revenge on Emmanuel Newton in February. Francis Kerman, who's 25-11, lost to Phil Davis in the final of the light heavyweight tournament in September 2015, then came back to submit Lucas Klinger in July. Kerman is 3-1 after moving up to 205 pounds, but Basil is a natural in this weight class, and that might give him the slight of edges in an intriguing matchup. Our pick for this fight is Basil. For the next lightweight battle of the night, Piccolotti, who's 8-0, has won four of his last five by submission. And while he can strike, you do not want to go to the mat with this Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Gertz, who's 14-4, has won two of his last three by TKO KO since a knockout loss to Derek Anderson in March 2014. And this former Division II All-American wrestler would like to try and bring Piccolotti down, and it probably will not work out well for him. Our pick for this fight is Piccolotti. For the women's lightweight bout, Melendez makes her pro MMA debut and has a kickboxing background, and she might be known to fans as the wife of Gilbert Melendez, the former two-time Strikeforce and WEC lightweight champion, who now fights in the UFC. Padilla, who's 2-0, makes her Bellator debut, and she has two wins by unanimous decision. Melendez looked impressive in a kickboxing win over Holly Griffin at Bellator 142, which featured MMA and kickboxing. As long as she can handle herself on the mat or does not get taken down, Melendez should be fine. Our pick for this fight is Melendez.